So today's video is going to be a total body workout that is fun and effective and you could do at home. I hope you guys enjoy this total body workout and let's get started. So we're standing with our feet shoulder width apart and we're going to start working our biceps. So that's this part right here, which on me was very flabby. So this is like a workout that I love to do. We're going to hold our hands like this and go one. Now we're going to work our calves and arms at the same time. So I'll show you what it looks like from bed. Here. We're going to stand on our tippy toes and do that exact same thing. So one. We're going to continue with biceps, but we're going to intensify it and also work our stomach. And we're going to do scissor kicks like this. So now we're going to work this part of our arm, which is the tricep. So this is an area that I know more people have issues with, looking flabby, or just want to tone it up. My little trick, just put your weights together like this, put them behind your head, and just hold them together. So you want your elbows to be pointed straight like this, not like this. So straight. One, two. Tippy toes up, back over the head. One, two, three, four. Now we're going to work this part of our back. You don't want to neglect the back. You still want to have like a sculpted arms, legs, stomach, back, everything. You don't want to leave any muscle parts out. So we're going to stand like this all the way down and like a swoop in your back almost like someone could rest a cup see like that and our arms are going to go out like that see how it's really really working that you want to bring this up to where your boobs are i don't know another way to say it. so you want to lift like you're trying to touch your elbows in the back like your elbows are trying to be so one two three four so instead of lifting from your hands where you would normally lift from you feel like your hands are doing the work. Pretend that only your elbows can do the work. So I'm lifting from my elbows and pulling up and squeezing. So one, two, three, four, five, six, Bringing a little ballet into this workout, we're going to work right here, our sides. So, you can hold your hands out like this. I'm going to do hips. I'm going to go one. My foot's not touching the ground though. So, there's this, or what we're going to do, this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. You'll also feel it in here. While that's still up and while it still hurts, bring it to the back like this, slightly bent, arms up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You see we're working all this. Eight, nine. Toe pointed 10, 11, 11, 12, 
Do two more sets of 20, it will hurt, but that way you know you got a good work in, you're sweating, it hurts in here, it hurts here. It's even going to work the glutes and help them grow. Okay, so now we're going to work the calves. We all want nice calves and we're wearing heels. So we're gonna go tippy toes down, tippy toes down. We're gonna go in first position ballet. Tippy toes down. Tippy toes down. Or for any ballerinas up there, releve. By doing this with your arms, not only are you keeping proper ballet form, but it strengthens all of this. If you're just a dead fish down here. What am I even doing? Uh oh, just don't care. Or you could stand up straight, suck in the stomach, so that way you're working the stomach as well. Up, down, up, down. We're going to put it all together and do singles. So here, straight. First position, straight. So that is it, I hope you guys liked it. This is a non-intimidating, just fun workout that you can do with light weights that are still effective. I hope you guys enjoy this. It's just another thing you can add into your routine once a week. And I'll see you guys soon, bye. Wait, you have to give you some pretty good. Right? Calves, yeah, yeah, that's tough. Maybe that's why I can't do it.